everybody, welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. Home is where the vlog is. Uh, we're in the car. Number 34, oh, yeah. I think. I still don't know the number. Uh, so as you can see, we are in the car. It is about seven o'clock at night. Um, I'm gonna tell you a little backstory. Uh, we were up late last night dealing with some computer issues that we had. So therefore, we slept like, I'm gonna say about half the day, maybe more, maybe less. Um, but we do need to go to the store regardless. That was the plan days ago. However, I was looking into it and we had planned, okay, if we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna go later because I've been hearing that a lot less people have been going later in the day, closer to the closing hours. So it kind of worked out. We're on our way to Target because I read online and I called and it said that the hours were open until nine o'clock. I have a list, I know pretty much all the things I need. Um, so we're gonna try this like going late and give you an update of like, you know, what it looks like. Was this the better option or is it better to go early? You know, I'm not sure of this whole process. So we're gonna just kind of go with it and see and uh, wish us luck. Wish us luck, Spence. He just blew us luck, that's what he did. <laughs> Binky, how do you feel? She feels good. And as always, I'm gonna be going in with my mask and gloves, and Spencer's gonna stay in the car with Binky, and then- I'm Play Pokemon. He's gonna play Pokemon. But he'll pull up as close to the store as possible. I get out, go do my thing. I'm gonna record in there as much as I possibly can so you guys can kind of see the state of everything. Then usually like as I'm getting ready to go, I go wash my hands, give him a phone call, and tell him I'm, out, I'm outside. He pulls up, we load all the things together, come back in, sanitize our hands. It's really a process, but I think we're at the point where it's pretty fine tuned now. Yeah. Um, it's kind of, it just works that way, it's quicker. Uh, I have to plan my gym battles at the beginning so that I'm not mid battle oh when I get goodness. the call. Oh my goodness. I mean, these are just, Liz knows these oh things. Oh my goodness. But uh, I think I think it just works better this way. I had thought, like, what if we reverse the roles and I had Spencer go in? But I thought about that. If I get one or two shots at this, do I really want somebody that will likely get the wrong thing? Because <laughs> unless you have a printer and I can print out a pic picture by picture of what I need, sometimes I make decisions when I'm in there. If they're out of something, I have to make a split decision and go, okay, I could do this instead of this. Being as I'm the one that cooks mostly for the household and um, you know it ju it's just e an easier process for the both of us and I think it it's also just better in general to not have two people going into the store as it is check out that sunset we got there a little bit of one yeah it's I mean it's starting I guess it's a, a break in the clouds and a little bit of color is sunset at 7 today or is it like Ish. it's like I, I think it's like 20 after now it's close it's getting pretty late. Oh. Now I will say earlier, very earlier, I'm going to say around like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, I had to come very quickly to come and pick up my prescription through a drive through but it was bumper to bumper traffic all through here. Like uh, typical Sunday. Like more than even normal than typical normal. Sunday. It was holiday packed. Weekend. Yeah, it was wow. a holiday weekend style. Wow. Um, I had to wait just to get up this hill going towards Pepperdine, and I was just like, well, this is it. I think a lot of people are taking drives, and, and I think we mentioned it when we were having dinner with David and Liz that we're noticing, yeah. you know, we live on Pacific Coast Highway, we're noticing uh, beaches are crowded, people are coming out, and um, it's definitely building, so. So I have exactly one hour. I'm gonna put on my gloves and everything. I'm just getting ready to head out the car. I'm right in front of the store. Um, like I said, I have one exact hour, so we'll see what that one hour is like in Target just before if this is a better option. I can say already that the traffic was non-existent coming here, so if you were just going to base your decision on traffic, might have been a better one. Heading in. Okay, so we're back home. Um, spent like 200 bucks, I'd say. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more, give or take, but... 
but that's a big stock up. I was gonna say, it's a pretty big stock up. We were running really low on a lot of things. Yeah. There were actually some things that I couldn't get, that I couldn't find. Mm. Um, but there were also some things that we decided to kind of invest in a little bit. Um, so because of dishes and everything, like it's just, I feel like we're <laughs> wasting a lot of water. Yeah. Um, and I don't know where to find that balance between like buying paper products versus washing it's and wasting water. I don't know. So, yeah, yeah. I mean, not to mention it's taking a lot of time having to do dishes all the time. So I got some solo cups and some paper plates and paper bowls just to, you know, I tried to go with the like recyclable or reusable or, you know, whatever that yeah. is. Well, it helps with the keg party I'm about to have this week. So I need oh, some yeah. solo cups. All that, you know, it's going to be a, a rager here. <laughs> um, so yeah, that, that I would say is like, uh, one of the things that ended up you know, costing more than I would have predicted. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, so let me give you a little visual and kind of show you what Target looked like inside. And we'll kind of talk about it. And here it is. Because I don't know. I didn't go inside. So I walked in and um, you would be surprised at how incredibly empty it was. I mean, this was, again, this was an hour before closing and there was virtually no one in that store. I wow. mean, even workers, you could tell they definitely, um, you could tell they definitely like cut back. Um, I was looking down a lot of like the cleaning section and, and it, there were some empty patches, yeah, I'm not gonna some, lie. see some gaps, but it doesn't look too bad. No, yeah, it, it, it wasn't as bad as the first couple of weeks. Right. Um, uh, a lot of the like Clorox wipes were completely off the shelves. I couldn't find any Clorox wipes to save my life. Um, there was this giant section and I was like, what yeah, is it? That. And that is all for Clorox wipes. I had to wow. like go and look cause I was like, what the heck? Buy stock in Clorox. Yeah, definitely. And then, um, you know, detergent all still there. There was where I was like, yes. okay, paper products, Cake this, party. this is great. Oh my gosh. Um, so I got some, I definitely needed like bags just for food storage. Um, but then I got to the facial tissue, bath tissue, that whole section that we were in last time. Oh, the invisible tissues. Yes. Yeah. Empty, empty. I couldn't find anything. Uh, but on a good note, Something I found to be exciting, <laughs> the dog food section, yeah, the Binky. pet food, it was well stocked. I think he's like, yeah, that's right. No pandemic for us. And then um, over here, they're still limiting um, the paper product quantities. I just went to kind of like look down these aisles really briefly, you know, see what the paper towel situation was. And let me tell you, it was bleak. There was no toilet paper, no tissues. Now, keep in mind, a lot of this looks very empty, but they just came off of a Saturday and a Sunday. This is a Sunday evening. Yeah. So I think while you're gonna have this experience um, where there's hardly anybody there, you have to remember that they might not have everything in stock that you want. Yeah. So you have to kind of like pick your poison there. Like, what is it that you're gonna want? Are you, do you want like really empty shelves? I mean, do you want to risk that there's empty shelves or do you want to have like a really peaceful, like very social distance, a very isolating experience? And it was great. I saw this sign. It said to wash all the produce and like not just in water, but like a produce wash. Interesting. Um, and then here's which a is kind of aside from the produce wash is kind of what you should do anyways. Yeah, you really um, should. So it's this is kind of one of the things we talked about, about things like people just need to improve their uh, cleanliness overall and these are things we're reminding people to do but they should know these things and this should be commonplace uh application to me but anyways yeah um, um so we're in the produce section here and i just wanted whoa. to point out no eggs they are done they're wow. still limiting um but again when you're coming off of a uh, this is, first of all, this is Target. They're not known to always have like every, you know, the right. massive supply and all that stuff. So in their little supply of eggs, it's not surprising yeah. to see them gone. And I've even seen this before the pandemic happened. Sure. Um, a thing I found, which was pretty cool. So I had to grab my Oatly Barista Blend milk. Oh yeah. But I found this uh, cinnamon toast coffee creamer. Oh, you would. And I was so tempted to buy. I am telling you. Oh, you didn't you, buy it. I thought you did. I wanted to, but I was like, I already am intaking so much sugar, and yeah, it's you know gummies or that. Um, so then I came over to the 
uh, meat section to check that out. And I mean, it, it was a little picked over, I'm not gonna lie. But again, remember this is Target. Yeah. They are not known for having, I mean, again, before this pandemic, there was no point where I was like, I'm gonna go get my meat over at Target. I think there's a point too to make that, that we're forgetting is that a lot of people eat out a lot. Mm -hmm. And now you're seeing, this is the result of everyone pretty much eating at home, aside from a little takeout here right. and there. So I think that's why you're seeing the volume being so decimated. Right. Uh, if everybody stayed home like this all the time, they would have to increase the, the flow of all this stuff. But Definitely. I think at this point they know that this is semi-temporary, but I really think that that's it. Everybody's eating at home, so all this stuff is, is going. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's not being uh, delivered by Cisco in a truck to a restaurant and you're ordering it off a menu and, you know. Yeah. Um, so the dairy aisle over on the cheese was really, really picked over. But again, cheese is popular, I would know. Uh, <laughs> uh, so like I said though, remember again, I sound like a broken record. Target has never had this like insane amount of, you know, groceries. Yeah, they're so, kind of new to the grocery game. Yeah, uh, it's more or less like, you know, other things. But uh, the frozen section looking fantastic. Frozen 2 section? Was, is that what that is? Frozen 2. You gotta be specific about the frozen section. Is well, frozen I, 1 I was, or Frozen 2? I was really happy though because <laughs> there was a lot of uh, frozen vegetables. Oh. Um, because if you can't find your, um, you know, fresh vegetables, this is your next best option. So I was really happy to see uh, how well stocked that was because yeah. There was a little bit of a panic there and at the beginning I was like, oh my gosh. Hey, look at all that bread. Yes, the bread aisle looked better than it's ever been. I Carb was really, up. I was really happy to see that. There was, there was more than I thought. A lot of the jams, jellies, and peanut butters, those were kind of picked over. Um, but the frozen section, a lot of people getting frozen pizzas, but they were still pretty stocked. Um, compared to, again, this is compared to how it's getting better, how it's been. And, it's and for a Sunday night after a very busy weekend, it's a huge improvement. I mean, this is a big improvement. Like this, go target. Yeah, this I'm goes so along, happy. This goes right along with what we were saying about things are looking a lot better. Yeah. I definitely on see a, a huge improvement. Levels. And again, even before the pandemic, like I said, I've seen these shelves kind of look like this. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I came to the pasta section, I was so happy because this, yeah. every time I've come, has had almost next to nothing. They are still putting limits on um, these items. Uh, the soups were eh, you know, a, a little picked over broths, yeah. but I think a lot of people are trying to make soups and, and things, and those are a staple. And speaking of staples, something, if you see your onion pick, uh, the onion mix, if you want to make that meatloaf, please get it. Lo and behold, I found some cheese balls. <laughs> uh, these are the Market Pantry brand. I think this might be the next brand we get. I thought it would be a good idea to get us some um, vitamin C. Always. There's so many different options of orange juices. Uh, I like pulp in mine, and a lot of these had no pulp, and I was a little bit sad. I don't want like a high amount of pulp, but I, I wanted some pulp. Yeah, I like some pulp. It, right? Well, I went. I ended up going with the lighter one. You'll see there's like a Simply Light. That's the one I ended up getting. Unfortunately, it doesn't have pulp in it, but. Wow, look at that aisle. Yeah, this is the um, cereal and breakfast aisle. And... I think the point that I wanted to show you here was that how things are well stocked and how empty it is. And then I wanted to see how the coffee aisle was doing. Coffee aisle's doing great. Now I finally did what I should have done from the get go. You got the case. I got the big pack Woo! of coffee. I mean, we're going through two to three coffees a day, my friends. Hey, you know what? This, this channel is partly sponsored by coffee k-cups coffee uh, yeah yeah and i will say though i miss blue bottle more than i've ever missed blue bottle now this was a sad sight to see i came over to see if maybe i would just maybe get lucky enough to find the main ingredient for the greatest drink of the world and it's elusive i'm telling you <laughs> sad i'm telling you it's like it's like trying to find you know rare truffles or something it's like trying to find bigfoot you can't find it no. um but i did grab some mini cans of those anyway um and i again i just walked around and i you know on my way back to the register and i was just it's a ghost town i feel so bad for all the easter stuff that never got touched there was so much easter stuff um, but yeah, just all overall an empty store. It was it was wild, but it was a great experience. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I enjoyed the heck out of it. 
So I think I've made the official decision that it is better if you're gonna go to Target and you need Target specific items like stuff that you can't get at Ralph's, Vaughn's, Albertsons, whatever it yeah. may be. Um, I would say the best time to go is about a couple hours before closing uh, for a much better shopping experience. Yeah. Um, now the thing is, is I knew we needed like paper products. We needed all kinds of stuff. It was just a bonus that there was a lot of groceries there that I could get. Right. Um, but I needed eggs still. Um, so I will just go and get my eggs over at Whole Foods right up the street. Um, I wish I could have got some paper towels, but those are the things that they're so hard to find in certain yeah. weird places anyway. So. And I mean, granted, like you said, it was a weekend. It was a Sunday. It's the last day before right. the week. Yeah. Pe people that are still working need to, you know, stock up for the week. Understandably, um, yeah. And people who aren't too. I mean, uh, maybe it's their normal shopping day is Sunday. Uh, yeah, a lot of people it is a normal shopping day. So yeah. taking all that into consideration, I would say, though, still a good experience. I think any store... Um, I, we passed a Trader Joe's and there was no line. Yeah. Um, they close at six and again, this wasn't tonight. This was a couple days ago or sometime during the week. Yeah. Um, there was no line and it was at like five o'clock. So I think if you go a couple hours before they're closing, I do think that's your best bet because a lot of people are getting up and going early and that alleviates the time for, um, you know, maybe people with kids or people with, um, you know, the elderly or the immunocompromised, they're going early anyway too. So yeah. you're kind of staying out of their way in my opinion. So um, that's gonna wrap up this video. I hope that it kind of helped you out a little bit and you know at least gave you some insight on what we did today. It's looking good as far as I'm concerned overall. It is. That's yeah. what it seems like to me uh, as a, a general consensus from seeing it from the outside. Mm -hmm. uh, like you guys are because I didn't go inside. Seems like it's getting better. So. Yeah it definitely does. Yes. I would say I'd say we're I don't know I get maybe we're just being super optimistic but I'd say it's going good. So yeah. um, that being said, we're going to wrap this up. we got to go and edit this video so you have something to watch tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, if you like this video and you want to see more like it, please let us know by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Yep, make sure to hit that notification bell so you know when we go live on Wednesdays mm -hmm. and when we drop new videos. Definitely. And if you want to support Best Life and Beyond, you can become a Patreon member. I'll put all that information in the description box right there below. That's right. We'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond. Bye-bye, everybody. Oh. Oh. Hi, Binky. Hey, you. Yeah. Did you see all the dog treats in the aisle? What did you think? She was very happy. She's going to dream about all those things now. I got her two bags of treats today.